Yeah, all right team. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe out there. We got episode 23. Oh, can't believe it. It's 23, number 23. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. A lot of exercise, a lot of music, a lot of yoga. It's gonna be a fun one. So make sure you do your shout out, grab a drink of water, and we'll be back for some fun. Here we go. Hey guys, Coach Shane here. We're here for a basketball session today. Okay, so what we're gonna need is a round ball of any sort. It can be a tennis ball, it can be a soccer ball, it can be a bit of paper, it can be anything, okay? But we're gonna start off with our Spider-Mans. So if you remember our Spider-Mans, we place our ball on the ground. We're gonna bend our knees slightly, and then from there, we're gonna have our hands out facing the front, just like that. And like Spider-Man, we're gonna spin some webs. Psss, 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 psss. See that? So that's gonna be me controlling the ball, but I just need to bend my knees a little bit further. Watch this. Psss, 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 psss. Just like that, I'll do it on the side. So let's go for 30 seconds, let's go. Psss, 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 psss. Turn back round, we go again. Psss. Turn back round. One more lap. Up and back. Here we go. Psst. 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 Make sure you're making that Spider-Man noise. Psst. 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 <laughs> Here we go. Psst. 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 Great work. Give yourselves a big clap. All right. So we're going to need three bits of equipment. Only three, okay? So I'm going to have, what color is that one? Does anyone know? Blue. That's right. What about this one? Yellow, and this one is red. So, come down to one end. If you're at a childcare in kindergarten and don't have uh, space for the three objects or don't have enough, that's okay. The children just can zigzag while they spider bit. But I'll show you what we're trying to do here is we're gonna spider them in, in between our zigzags, using both our hands all the way up and then back round. If you're at home, Watch out for your brother and sister if they're playing. Once you get to the end, you can let your other sibling in or you let your brother, your sister in. But if you're by yourself, let's keep going. Let's do two more laps. Take my time. I don't want to touch any of these cones. And I spin it around and I tap. And I tap again. That's one. Let's do one more. Let's go. Oh no, I've touched the cone. That's okay, keep going. Just try your best not to. Oh, there we go. Give yourselves a big, big clap. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our cones or move our piece of equipment just out of the way a little bit, but we're gonna need them a bit later. So I'll just quickly move these off. And from there, we're gonna jump up wide legs. We're gonna practice bouncing using both our hands, okay? So it looks like this. I wanna have our hands out with our arms, we don't want to be too far out because it'll be too far to catch. So we bend our arms in at 90 degrees. So see there, we we'll just make sure you bend your arms, doesn't matter what degree it is. <laughs> All right, from there, I'm just gonna push the ball down to the ground and I catch and hug. Let's try that, let's do three. One, two, three, just like that. Or you can try and catch the ball in your hand. So watch Coach Shane here. Watch how he just catches it in his hands. So what you want to do then is get your hands under the ball. You probably don't want to have your hands together like a bowl like we do in cricket because the ball's probably a little bit too big and it might fall off. So just get, a, get your hands underneath the ball so we can catch. Just like that. So it's catch and hug or it's catching those hands, whatever you feel comfortable with. Let's do a little walk. So watch this, I walk and I catch. I walk and I catch. Remembering I can catch in my hands or I can catch and hug. Take your time, it's not a rush. Let's go, let's go back. Let's go, one more time up and back. One, two, three. Four, and let's go four back. One, 
two, three, four. So now we're gonna need that equipment again. So quickly grab your three objects. It doesn't have to be cones. Remember, it can be uh, items of clothing, it can be pillows, anything that'll just help us zigzag around. So it's the exact same thing as we did before. We're gonna zigzag in and out of these cones. But remember, we're trying not to touch the cones and we're bouncing with two hands. Here we go. Once we get around, all the way back around. Now, if you're at a childcare or kindergarten and don't have room or don't have enough objects, watch this. Just get the kids just to go zigzag. Just like that. But if you have enough room in between our cones, try and get a little bit of a run up. A little jog, let's do two more. Let's go. Take your time, catch a hug around our cones. Oh, back we go. Let's go one more lap. Whoa, okay, Shane's getting dizzy. Keep your eye on the ball. And give yourselves a big clap. Once again, pick the equipment up, but keep it nice and close because we will be using them shortly. Because what we're gonna get into now is bouncing with one hand. So I'm gonna have one hand under the ball, one hand on top. Now, when we bounce with one hand, we wanna push the ball down into the ground. I do that by tapping the ball like that. But as the ball comes up, I wanna grab the ball and push it down into the ground like that. So one hand underneath, one hand on top. I'm gonna to try and get five bounces in a row. Ready? Let's count. So I'm gonna move this bottom hand and push down with my other hand on top here. Watch this. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, great work. Now this is very, very tricky. This is one of the trickiest skills in sports. So let's go with our other hand on top. Let's go left hand. Let's try to get five. One, two, three, four, five. How'd you go with one of those hands? Now, you might find at home that one hand is a little bit easier whoa, than the other hand. It just means we've got to practice more on that other hand to get it better, to make it better. So we can practice on the right hand and then back over to the left hand. Whoa. Now, if your ball runs away, that's okay. Just go grab it. Come back to the middle and let's go again. Let's go. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Swap sides. Other side. Oh, who can try? Do right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. So it looks a little bit like this. Right hand, left hand. Right hand, left hand. Right hand, left hand. Right hand, left hand. Keep your eye on that ball. Let's go for 10 more seconds. Oh, it might run away. If it runs away, pick it up and go again. Keep your eye on the ball. Oh, and give yourselves a big, big clap. Coach Shane got a little bit carried away then. Now, we're gonna try and walk and bounce with one hand. So this is gonna be tricky again. Now remember, if the ball runs away and you're finding it a little bit hard, we can keep practicing. Or if you feel like you wanna go back to the two-handed bounces, that's okay. Whatever you feel comfortable with at home. So let's go. I'm gonna try my right hand, keep my eyes on the ball. Once I get down, I'm gonna swap over and try my left hand. Oh, it's a bit tricky, that left hand. I'm gonna keep it in my left hand and I'm gonna bounce back. Coach Shane needs to work on his left hand by the looks of it. And then let's go back on the right. And then remember, you can still practice with your one, just like that. So let's go for 10 more seconds, walking around using both hands. Watch out for your friends. Keep your eye on the ball. Well done, everyone. Give yourselves a super, super big clap. We're gonna need our equipment again. So I'll quickly grab our equipment, setting up the exact same line. Because what we're gonna do is bounce in and out of our zigzags, remembering if you're finding one hand a little bit tricky, we can go back to our two hands. That's okay. Keep your eye on the ball. If you find the one hand's not too bad, oh, through our zigzags, we're getting a bit tricky here. All our what, two hands. Great work. 
Let's do one more time. Let's go. Oh, through our zigzags. Great work. One, two hands. There we go. And give yourselves a big, big clap. Now, place your cones and your ball just slightly away. We don't need our equipment anymore. So we don't need our cones or our objects. We're just gonna practice shooting the basketball with no ball. So first, I want to use your loud voice. Can everyone say, soldier? So I say soldier, and then you say, let's try it again. Soldier. Great work, I hope you're loud at home. Then we say, arms up. Bend our knees, and we shoot like a rainbow. So in a rainbow, let's all draw a rainbow. It goes up and down. So let's go again. Soldier, arms up, bend our knees, and rainbow. Like that. So I'll grab our ball, and we'll finish our sports session off with a couple of basketball shots. So ready? Soldier. Arms up. Bend your knees and rainbow up and down. Run after your ball. Now, if we're inside, we gotta make sure that we don't do crazy big ones. We're just doing little ones. Let's try that again. I'll do it on the side. Everyone say, soldier. Arms up. Bend your knees. Rainbow, yeah, run after it, run back one more time and we'll finish up our sports session. Let's use our loudest voices. Next week, Coach Soph will take you through some even bigger progressions on our basketball shooting. Ready, soldier, arms up, bend your knees, rainbow, oh, grab your ball, give yourselves a big, big clap. I hope you guys had fun today with Coach Shane and we learned some new basketball skills. Let's grab a drink, give us your shout outs and we'll see what's next.
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Round 2. Dab. How many dabs can you do? How many dabs can you do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Final round. Dab. How many dabs can you do? How many dabs can you do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20. Dab challenge complete. Hello, hello. All right, here we go. It's time for some music. Now, we're going to do a bit of a different one today, okay? This one is all going to be about using our ears and working out what sound is what instrument. Okay, so I'm gonna play a sound and you guys are gonna to have to know what instrument it is, okay? So I'm gonna grab an instrument from this room, have a look around. We got guitars, we got bass guitars, we got ukuleles, we got drums, we got shakers, we got a bit of everything, but I'm gonna let you guys decide what they are, okay? And when they're being played. So what we're gonna start with, what's it gonna be? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover our camera. So the ca camera's covered. So the camera's covered and you guys have to decide what this instrument is. Oh, that is a ukulele. Did you get that right? Great work. We know we like the ukulele. This is the song of a lonely cowboy. What? You know that one. <laughs> All right, what else have we got here? Keep those eyes, I mean, keep those ears peeled. Here we go. Let's close that up again. Oh, you, if you guessed that one, that's a guitar. Who got that one right? Yeah, that's right. Great work. Now we're tuning our ears to know what instruments sound like, okay? Great work, team. Let's go a bit of a harder one. Oh, okay, so this isn't an instrument. This is something we use to play an instrument, okay? See if you know what that sound is. And... Oh, that's right. Who got that one's a really tricky one, the drumstick sound. That's a hard one, but obviously we use this to play another instrument, but we'll get to that, won't we? All right, what else have we got here? Let's cover up, whoop. Have a listen out to this one. What do we got? Oh, that one sounds a bit lower, doesn't it? I wonder what that is. Remember to yell it out at home, or to JK if you know what it is. And it is a Bass guitar, who got that one right? <laughs> Great work team. Here we go again, you guys are doing so well. Remember to yell out those answers if you know them. Here we go. Oh, we should know this one. We played this a bit on our virtual incursions. And we have the piano. Great work team, you guys know this one. That's our piano sound. Great stuff. All right, what else have we got? Let's make this a bit harder. Uh, who got that one? And that is a shaker or the maracas. You can call them either, but that's what that sound is. Great work team, let's make it a bit trickier. We've learned those a little bit in our virtual incursions. That is our xylophone. Does anyone know what letter xylophone starts with? That's a hard one. That starts with an X. That's a very hard one. What else have we got here? Here we go. Oh, who knows that one? That's a loud sound. That is the, what's that one? That's our drum. Who got that one? That's a very loud one, that one, is it? Give yourself a big, big clap at home. Great work if you knew our instrument sounds. And if you didn't, that's why we're here to learn because learning is fun, we know that. Let's get back to the crew. Great work, team.
Hey Monsters, who's ready to do a little bit of yoga? I know I certainly am. And today I thought, let's do some cooking because I woke up feeling very, very hungry. And it, you know, I'm in the mood for some pizza. Do you guys like pizza? I love pizza. Okay, what do we need first? Standing nice and firm on the ground, legs a little bit apart, bending all the way down, because we need to grab our pizza dough all the way down, grabbing our pizza dough, roll it out. Ah, excellent. Now for some toppings. Hmm, I like a simple pizza. I'm going to grab some cheese. We're gonna look that way for our cheese. So we're going to bend that leg, this leg nice and straight, arms out so we can stretch for the cheese. Stretching, ah, sprinkle the cheese on. Oh, and some sauce. Next leg, nice and bent. Back leg, very straight. Arms out nice and strong, bending forward. Oh, sauce, sprinkle the sauce on. And some more cheese on top. Into the oven it goes. Oh, this is gonna be yummy. What's that? Oh, Mikey. You want a pizza too, Mikey Monster? Okay, time to make Mikey Monster a pizza too. Okay. Legs firm on our yoga mat, bending down for another piece of pizza dough, all the way down, picking up that pizza dough. Let's put the sauce on first this time, ready? Bending one leg, nice and bent, back leg straight, arms out, reach forward, sauce, sprinkle the sauce on. Next leg bent, back leg straight, arms out, leaning forward, grab the cheese, and some cheese on. And what else does Mikey Monster want? Capsicum on his pizza. Great choice, Mikey. Okay, we're going to keep that front leg nice and straight. There's the capsicum right there. Bending all the way down for the capsicum. <sighs> Sprinkle the capsicum on into the pizza oven. There you go, Mikey. What was that? Oh, Funky Monkey wants a pizza too. Sorry guys, gotta keep cooking. Feet nice and strong on the ground, bending all the way forward. Pick up our pizza dough. Ooh, this looks yummy. Roll it out. Don't forget, we need the sauce and the cheese. Ready? Bending, straight back leg, st straight arms, leaning forward. Sauce, bent leg, nice straight leg, nice straight arms, cheese. And what else does Funky Monkey want? Of course he does. Mushrooms, okay. Mushrooms are up there. Let's climb the tree to get the mushrooms ready. Maybe your foot's on one foot. Maybe the foot's on your calf. Maybe you can climb the tree a bit higher. And grab the mushrooms. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, there we go. Sprinkle the mushrooms on into the pizza oven. How could I forget about Coach Joel? Of course Coach Joel is hungry. All right, ready? Time to make Coach Joel a piece of pizza. We're going to grab another piece of pizza dough, bending all the way forward. <sighs> On the bench, remember, sauce, cheese. Bending that leg, nice straight back leg, and lean forward, sauce. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't forget the cheese. Bending forward, nice straight arms, Grab the cheese, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, and what does Coach Joel like on his pizza? Hmm, seems like he wants some ham on his pizza. Do you guys have ham on your pizza too? But it's over there. Okay, got to reach over to grab the ham, ready? We're gonna have one foot on our yoga mat and our second foot we're gonna grab with our hand. Grab it with our hand, lean forward, grab the ham. Oh, got it. Sprinkle it on top into the oven. What? Coach, Coach Shane, you want a pizza too? All right, guys, you know what to do. We've got to make sure Coach Shane doesn't go hungry. Okay, bending down for a new pizza, pizza dough all the way up. Spread it out, roll out the pizza dough. Sauce, bending the knee, nice straight back leg. Stretch for the sauce, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And we're gonna bend the opposite knee, 
Keep the back leg nice and straight. Nice straight arms, leaning forward, grab the cheese. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, and what does Coach Shane like on his pizza? Hmm, let me see. Onion, okay, good choice, Coach Shane. We need to, standing up nice and strong, bring our hands all the way up to the sky. Oh, grab the onions, sprinkle them on the pizza, into the oven they go. And, oh, guys, Coach Soap has just arrived. Coach Soap, do you want a pizza too? Okay, no worries, I'll make you one. Okay, legs out nice and wide, pizza dough. First thing we need, bending all the way forward, pick up our pizza dough, roll it out. Coach Soph has to have sauce and cheese like we do. Bent knee, back leg nice and straight, nice straight arms, lean forward, grab the sauce, sprinkle, 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 opposite side. Bend that back, that side knee, nice straight leg, nice straight arms, grab the cheese, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And what is it that Coach Sophie's after? Oh, she likes salami on her pizza. Okay, oh, down the bottom of the pantry for the salami, we'll have to lean forward and nice straight, keep that leg straight on the side, grab the salami, pour it on the pizza into the oven it goes. <sighs> mm, they are going to be delicious when they're ready and all cooked. Thanks guys, see you again soon, bye. <sighs> all right team, that's episode 23 come to an end, but let's make this a bit of a fun one to end, okay? So I'm gonna yell out what to do, like a star jump or balance on one leg and we're only gonna do it when I play the ukulele. It's kind of like a Simon Says, okay? So, as soon as I say, play the ukulele, that's when you gotta do it, okay? So, so it'll be something like this. Bounce on one leg. And when the music stops, we stop, okay? Here we go. Let's go start with star jumps. Oh, how about spinning circles? How about bouncing one leg to another, like this. Here we go. How about slow circles? Fast circles. Slow star jumps. Fast star jumps. Great work team, give yourself a big round of applause. Episode 23 in the books, share the video, do all the fun stuff. Oh, you guys have been good. We'll see you next time. See you later.